It's been a little while since I've done any kind of update on my comic book, Young and the Dead, so we should do that. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with Surfworks Art Labs. Welcome once again to the Underground Laboratory where we create robots, alien zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And sometimes we create comics. And it's been a little while since we talked about comics. Uh, been a while since we wrapped up the 100 days of making comics. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update of where I am with the comic book Young and the Dead, which usually I pull that out and I show you, but I don't have it with me. So uh, there is, I've got three issues available right now and I'm working on issue four. And if you followed me through that 100 days, you know what that's all about. So this is just gonna be a little update, kind of what's been going on with the comic, with the process of creating that, that comic book. It's going a little slow since I'm not doing the 100 days, but I'm still trying to find time here and there. And the best thing to do, I think when you're doing any project, and this is why the 100 days of making comics work so well is to find that routine so the best the thing that I'm trying to do is trying to work on that on my lunch break and usually usually I get that you know I get that chunk of time and that's when I work on it now there's other things sometimes I have to run errands and everything now ideally the lunch hour is a good time to do it because you know you take a break every lunch you usually have that hour it takes you know it takes about a half hour to eat so you got a half hour to work on it and that's what the 100 days of making comics is about you find 30 minutes here I'm looking forward to to putting aside that time and not have to do all these other things that kind of come my way but that's not to say that I haven't been working on the comic and I'm gonna to try to make up some time some time that I lost for a few of those lunch hours that I didn't have time to work on it so what we're gonna do in order to make up lost time is we are gonna go mobile with the comic book we've got a little event that we've got to attend to in the alternate reality that we go to up here in the parallel scope we're gonna go there in a minute but uh, yeah, there's this event coming up. It's a work event, and uh, there's going to be a lot of extra downtime and things. So I'm going to bring this this comic book project along, try to find out a way to set it up, maybe in a hotel room or whatever, or you know, maybe out and about where we'll have to kind of see what the landscape is. But it's a good idea to always, you know, if you can take your work with you. Now I'm working traditionally on this book, but if you got, you know, if you're working digitally, if you got an iPad or some kind of mobile type device that you can take with you, that's ideal. I don't don't really have that so I'm gonna bring all you know my pages and my uh, all my you know art supplies and things I'm gonna see if we can find squeeze in some time to kind of catch up on that comic book so uh, like I said we're gonna go up here to the parallelloscope the device that allows us to view alternate realities parallel universes and uh, see what's going on in another timeline much like this a little different we're gonna check it out we are at the resort that I'm staying at for this convention for work. It's a really nice place. Uh, it's built along this man-made replica of the Gila River and uh, yeah it's really fun staying here and you can kind of see the interior. There's a bar that's kind of in the rock and everything um, and some really cool, it's on an Indian reservation so there's all kinds of Native American paintings and things like that. Really really beautiful uh, resort. Uh, but, you know, it's hot out, so I'm going to spend a lot of the time up in my room working on, uh, working on some comic book pages, at least when I'm not working. So, But that's all indoors, which is good. The last one we did last year was outside, and it was like super hot. So uh, luckily this resort's all inside and here, just looking down from the second story where my room is, you can kind of see kind of the lobby and everything. Pretty cool, but I'm going to head over to my room, like I said, and here it is, and there's a nice desk there, so I'm going to get working on some comic books. And uh, yeah, so here we are. This is page, ooh, I think this is page 10. Yeah, so of course I've got it penciled. Uh, I should I should have remembered to show the, the pencil, but it's not, it, like when I was doing the 100 Days of Making Comics, I was always, I always had the camera on and everything. Now it's like, oh, I gotta remember to film, some, film something because I'm not filming every page like I was before. Uh, so you know, unfortunately you don't get to see me working on the, the pencils, but a lot of that's pretty light and everything. And I've been doing some live streams. I don't know if you caught any of those, but you can kind of those those are fun because you can see the whole process from beginning to finish. And it's those are all done like people are giving me ideas and things, and I'm taking those ideas and just doing drawing basically whatever people throw out. So I'm looking forward to doing some more of those. So if you haven't caught those, you might want to check those out, and you can see some of my penciling process. But right now it's all inking, uh, and um, yeah. But I guess what I wanted to sort of talk about was just. Uh, 
finding finding a way to kind of bring your artwork with you because you know we'll go places and we'll have downtime just the other day I, I was on my way to work and I stopped to have my tire uh, fixed because I had this like slow leak and I got to you know discount and they said oh it's gonna be it's gonna be like an hour and ten minutes so I grabbed my stuff out of my car and there was like a little little tabletop kind of not necessarily a bar. It was sort of like a bar with bar stools there. <laughs> there wasn't a bar there, obviously. It's a discount tire. But, you know, just where you could sit and sort of a little desk. So I just put my stuff up there and I worked on my comic book for, you know, about, you know, it was only about 45 minutes actually. They said it was going to be an hour and 10, but they were pretty quick. So, but yeah, it's a good idea to have your stuff with you. Um, like I said before in the intro, if you've got, you know, if you've got a digital, you know, device that you do your comics on, those are a little easier to bring around, but it's a good idea to kind of carry your comic book stuff with you and you know just work on it whatever because that's like you know and it's also the same thing with like checking emails and stuff like when I'm on the line or something uh, just kind of optimize your time and find the best time to work on certain things when you're just kind of standing there doing nothing um, it's just good time management so rather than just sitting there on my phone waiting for my tires to be fixed uh, I was working on my comic which is super cool um, but anyway so let me uh, kind of show you the setup that I that I created so I, I also in addition to my my pages and everything I brought some lights and everything bought my camera set up my little camera arm um, so I just made made use of this little desk that was in my hotel room and uh, and now I'm gonna kind of finish this page up and uh, I got what three more panels to do on it but yeah that's that's I guess the the lesson of this particular uh, video or vlog or whatever you want to call it is just uh, find you know find places and find time you know etch out a little time and that's kind of what the 100 days of main comics is all about so we're continuing on with that tradition and just you know we're gonna work on this comic book by any means necessary whenever we can and that's kind of what I'm trying to do now it does help if if you have some sort of routine that's why I'm trying to get uh, get some pages done while I'm on my lunch hour because it's it's constant you know you every day you take a lunch and you know I'll eat I'll eat and mess around on the computer and check emails for a half hour then I'll put my 30 minutes on after that before I kind of get back to work but sometimes I, I've been ha having to ship a lot of orders and things which is cool because I'm getting orders so sometimes I have to leave and do that so I don't get it in every day so that's why I just decided you know what, I'm gonna take take my stuff with me and uh, when I'm not working at this uh, at this event then I'm gonna go up and work on some comic book pages so and you know I was able to finish inking this page and get that done and that's super cool and that's what it's all about so anyway uh, I don't know what else to say I'm just gonna I think I'll let the music kind of play us out and then uh, well you know what I, I got some other stuff that I'm gonna throw in here so uh, let me just finish this up so we're almost done and uh, I don't know if I brought my white pencils my white pens that I do all the touch-ups with there we go we'll pop those in there and yeah so that's super cool so a little more <laughs> sort of a, a John around here oh, do you see that I don't know if you can see it but there's a little bunny he's way in the distance he's kind of running around <laughs> so I saw that guy on my walk when I was walking around the resort so this is what I was here for this is the convention this is where we bring all our representatives in and we unveil the new products and everything and we actually unveiled the new catalog which I want to show you so I'm gonna share that with you we'll kind of go through it and I'll show you some of the stuff that I worked on okay so this is the big catalog that we put out every year at my uh, day job uh, we, we also put out like five other smaller catalogs but this is the big one so this is you know this is the big event when they unveil this and everything so I just thought I'd really quickly kind of go through just if anyone's curious of what I do when I'm not doing robots and aliens and all that stuff and sometimes I do aliens and robots for this stuff let's see so uh, let's go here uh, I marked these pages and now I'm skipping them all. Where is it? Oh yeah, so this is uh, this is sort of our new uh, line that we're putting out. It's supposed to have like embroidered looks. So this one here with the hummingbirds, I did that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, none of the. Oh yeah, this one with the little. Uh, koi fish and this one with the tiger and the bonsai tree so you know that's 
I just want to kind of show you some of the variations on some of the stuff that I do because I do all kinds of different stuff. So this is our New Year's thing. I did these, these little things you put on Hershey's Kisses, little sentiments and things like that. Uh, you know, and of course, and these are all basically what this, these are. These are all rubber stamps, and you can see what people do with these creations, what they can make with you know some of the designs. This little uh, bandit here, I did that guy. Um, so I get to do some cartoony stuff. Of course, I love Halloween. Uh, now we do also holiday catalogs, so I've got a lot more in there, but these little ghosts, I did all those guys. Those were super fun to do. Uh, and of course, like I said, Halloween, we do have some in the big catalog, um, but I did these guys. And it's really, it's just really cool what people can make out of these different rubber stamps. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we got here? Um, so we also do some religious type stuff. So, you know, did all that, some Christmas designs. Um, this one was probably one of my favorites and this went over really well. Everyone really loved it when they unveiled this, but this little llama guy or alpaca or whatever. So this is the stamp set. You know, we always do kind of punny things with, you know, save the drama for your llama and let's go away alpaca bag, all that kind of stuff. So Komasle llama. Um, and this one here, I did this one too, the Western one. Uh, let's see, the s'mores, that's fun for like a camp out type thing. Uh, sort of I, the little woody and everything. Um, so, you know, you can see, what I really like is how they display all this stuff. That's something I want to do more with my own products is take really cool photographs and everything. Uh, this is a new collection. I wanted to do some sort of children's book style illustration stamp. So, you know, cute little kids doing fun things. So this is all about dreaming and, and, uh, you know, find, you know, following your dreams and things like this. So kind of, you know, uh, sort of a children's book illustration style. Um, and speaking of that, we do. I did some nursery rhyme things: the Humpty Dumpty, the uh, the pig, little three little pigs. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, this is one of my favorite collections that I designed. So these, and again, I love doing the cute stuff, the fun stuff. These cute little animals, uh, kind of, you know, little critters, and uh, so those 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 are pretty popular as well. Um, this is a new one that I did. Uh, it's kind of a circus animal theme. So my favorite section is the kids section, obviously. So we've got these party animal guys, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, do like I said, do different styles and everything, just to keep it interesting. What do we got here? Uh, so this one was another one that people really loved. This little muscle guy, and he's got little brads, and his arms and stuff can move and everything. Um, but there's kind of the set, and you know, they've also got anything that has this green thing around it. Those are dies, so they've got a machine that cuts those out. So cuts them all out, and you put them together. Um, did this one like a Father's Day type golf theme. So. Again, these did these tools. This is the dude section, so these are more masculine type stamps. Of course, I really like this one. It's kind of vintage records and things like that. Um, so all that kind of stuff. This one, this one I kind of did with my dad in mind because he lives in Flagstaff along Route 66 and he loves Route 66. He's got all the signs in his house and stuff. So plus he likes old trucks and everything. Um, so, and then in the expressions, this one was super fun. I got to do some kind of kawaii, uh, little, you know, sushi and boba and stuff. So, uh, let's see if I can find that. So here's the stamp set here. And again, had a lot of fun with the, um, just the little sentiments and the little puns and things like that. Um, that one was super fun to work on. And we're coming to my favorite pretty soon, but then, you know, and then I do some typography and things like that, some stamps that have that. But this is my favorite, of course, because you know I'm into comics. So we got to do, or I got to do work on this set. Uh, this is the superhero set. So again, kind of like that muscle guy, the arms and everything are kind of separate, but here's the stamp. So we've got the superhero, you can cut them out. And the, the interesting or the fun thing with this one was, you know, I wanted to do, something similar to like a Batman or Wolverine, but you know, we don't have the licenses for those. So kind of doing a little different spin on that, kind of derivative of that, but not infringing on any copyrights or anything. So this is sort of a kind of cross between a Batman and a Wolverine. This is sort of a, a bug type guy, could be like a Spider-Man. This guy could be sort of like the Flash, but different, you know, same thing here with the, uh, sort of Thor-esque helmet, um, hammer's a little different. All the stuff is just varies a little bit, but uh, you know, that's cool. Now the other thing, we did a we did a female set, a female hero set, and 
when we design these stamps, we got tons of them. So a lot of them get cut just for time. And the female one got cut. We didn't want to cut it, but we, they had to cut it just because of space. But there was such a big demand. And I'm wondering if some of that might have might be because of the new Wonder Woman and everything. So we're actually going to bring those back. I'm going to put them in one of our, our next smaller catalogs. So that's super cool. So I wish I could show you that. But... Uh, it, it's under kind of secrecy until that catalog comes out so but that's the cool thing because now I can kind of show off this type of stuff um, these are some more stamps you know some sort of whimsical type dance stuff and you know all this stuff so this is more a little more hand-drawn but so basically all these collections I worked on most of this collection this is the artisan section and I did most of the work in here and uh, this one's pretty cool too the pirate thing so yeah, oh, and then of course, you know, steampunk, got to do that. That's pretty cool, that was fun. But yeah, so that's sort of what I do in the day job. Um, but yeah, let's get back to, uh, back to everything else. All right, so that is page 10, and we wrapped up that page, so we're going to move on to page 11, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully that page will be a little smoother sailing than this last one. Uh, we'll get, try to get back on track and everything, and uh, yeah, because we really want to get this comic done and put it out. Uh, even when you got all this other stuff going on, uh, you gotta still try to try to think like we did in 100 Days of Making Comics and get that working every single day. So I'm gonna make an effort to do that. Uh, but I gotta get going. I'll see you guys later. That is all. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here in the Art Lab. There's a lot of other great content on the channel, so click that subscribe button and you won't miss a thing. If you're an aspiring evil genius, visit surfworks.com for all your mad science supply needs. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comments section or follow me on social media. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you then.